So now in this video, we're going to look at the uh, current mirror made with bipolar junction transistors. The PMP bipolar junction transistor works really well because it becomes the source of current. We set the current with one of the bipolar junction transistors. As you can see there, we'll look at this circuit in more detail coming up. But in case we set the current through one of the transistors, that will be the current going through the other transistors as long as the load is not too big. So in any case, I'm going to lower the uh, current you see to uh, that LED. You can see that the other LEDs get dimmer or brighter. We'll grab the uh, power supply there. Right now there's a total of 2 milliamps of current approximately. This is not completely accurate. So what I'm going to do is raise this to show uh, 12 milliamps of current. and a 13 will work. There you go. So at 12, if I remove one, we'll lose 4 milliamps of current. So it has to be one of the ones on the side, not the one that we're setting the current with. I plug that one. Again, 4 milliamps of current. Since this transistor here sets the current, if I yank the LED, no current is flowing through it. It's an open circuit, so no current is flowing through the uh, other LEDs or their transistors. So now here is the basic circuit. I meant to put 5 volts up there. We use 6 volts in the demonstration so now it's going to be 6 volts. But uh, otherwise these are the components that I am using right there. So first we have the transistor that we're going to set. So these are PNP bipolar junction transistors and so the emitter goes to the positive side, collector to the negative side, and it's controlled when you get a more negative voltage to the uh, base than the uh, VCC by 0.6 volts more negative. It will start conducting and it will get the transistor to start conducting. So we got feedback right there, and that's also going to influence the other three transistors. That's why they have the same amount of current going through them. So we'll zoom in. As I said, these are 2N3906s. The pin layout is the emitter to the left when you're looking at the flat side. Emitter to the left, base to the middle, collector to the right. So if we turn it this way, the emitter will be up top. And uh, so we're going to do that flat side to the left. That puts the emitter to top. The emitter goes to the positive rail, as you can see. So these two are already to the positive rail. And I'll plug it in right there. So now, before we forget, because this is an easy one to miss, we want a little jumper from the uh, base to collector of the PMP transistor that's going to set the current. I'm not going to use a little one like this. The uh, one that I have that goes from one spot to the next one is just a little piece of metal. It's hard to see. So I'm going to use this obnoxiously large uh, jumper right there. But there you can see we have a connection to those two points right there. We're going to take a resistor and a 220 ohm resistor so that we have a minimum of 200 ohms of resistance. Put that from the collector to one spot away from that jumper there. So now we have the uh, trim pot which will give us our variable amount of current. So 220 ohms is our minimum. And then we have a trim pot that I can go when we wire it as a variable resistor from 0 ohms up to 10 kilo ohms, 10,000 ohms, because that's what this is, a 10 kilo ohm trim pot. Even with 10,200 ohms of resistance protecting an LED, these uh, green ones still light up a fair amount. So uh, we have the uh, wiper. We'll put that to the fixed resistor. And uh, so I'll uh, zoom in so that's a little easier to see. The wiper to the fixed resistor, so that's the middle pin. The wiper, we have the fixed resist development from one pin to the other. And uh, so that'll go to the blue jumper. Uh, there we go. The fixed one will go to the blue jumper. The wiper there will go to the resistor. And there you go. Now we have the uh, variable resistance. And that's all we need for our one transistor. So 
let's uh, program it right now. The power's off. I will turn the power on. We need to add the LED, actually. So the LED, the shorter lead, the cathode, goes to ground. The longer lead, the anode, goes to the resistor. Remember, LEDs are polarized. You have to put them in the proper direction for them to conduct. So the uh, resistance is down low. We got 9 milliamps of current, mostly due to the 220 ohm resistor and the voltage that the uh, LED is blocking. And uh, let's go to uh, 6. So since it's a 10 kilo ohm trim pot, I just have to turn it a little bit to change the current quite a bit. And uh, 5 will work too. So now that we have our current set there, we will add one or more transistors basically in parallel. And so the uh, base will get the same signal though as this base. So this will set the current and give the uh, all the bases a uh, signal and determine how well they conduct. That's why they pass the same current. So we don't have to have basically the same load. 220 ohm resistor, I like having that extra 220 ohm resistor. We can take the LED, remember the long lead, the anode more positive, short lead, the cathode is down one row, and we can put that directly to the negative rail. I'll grab the power supply and we'll see so it's four milliamps right now, probably right between four and five. We will see that we'll have twice this, so eight to 10, somewhere around there. There we go, we, we got to 10, so it's probably just shy of five with uh, just the one. There you can see that. So we don't need the other resistor. The current will be the same, but I like having this minimum value or this uh, resistor here to help dissipate some of the power. But there you can see again, now with the resistor. So we changed the load. We either just used an LED or a resistor in series with the LEDs as I drew on the schematic. And we got the uh, same current. So the other one, I still wire it up. And all we have to do, I, ne I never took off the resistor and the LED. All we have to do in this case is grab a jumper and connect the uh, two bases together. Actually three bases now. So we'll move in a little bit, and this jumper goes from the uh, base of the two transistors there. We'll go to the base of this one, and I removed the resistor. I didn't think I did. So we will quickly add that, and you'll see we'll go from 10 milliamps to about 15 right there. So this isn't completely accurate, but it's pretty close. It's within one or two milliamps of current. If I pluck uh, this one, now you can see it's back to 10. So... In any case, there you can see, we have a current mirror. The current that we set will be the current that goes through uh, all the uh, transistors. So now, that's it for this video. I will reduce the, uh, or increase the resistance, and we have less current, and that passes along to the other one. So that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of my uh, other videos that I'm posting here. Subscribe and click the bell, and I will see you in the next video.